Well, Carl Weiler was uh, kind of an early pioneer in media uh, with the television station KTSM. It was 1959 that Carl Weiler's ambitious dreams became a reality. Seeing the direction in which technology was headed, Weiler wanted to expand his outreach. And he saw a need for broadcasting from the tallest peak they could get to. And that's where Ranger Pete comes into play. Weiler had a tramway built to transport equipment and even pieces of the antenna up to the top of the peak. And with the transmission equipment, KTSM became the powerhouse of the valley. Two countries and three states can be seen from the top of the tramway. Weiler fell in love with the views and saw the opportunity to promote the region by allowing the public to go up on the tram in 1960. While this may not be the original gondola used in 1960, generation after generation have taken the same route for a sight at the breathtaking view. The original gondola remains on display. Upon its retirement in 1970, it had made over 116,000 round trips. The tramway was open to the public for 26 years before the high maintenance and insurance cost caused it to close down. I believe it was 1997, it was turned over to Texas Parks and Wildlife through the will, through Carl Weiler's will. The Weiler Aerial Tramway is an El Paso landmark that exemplifies our rich and cultural history, and it all began with KTSM. Okay.